Good morning everyone. This is Asus All-in-One PC V222F. As you can see the border is quite slim. By the way, that's the model number which is bottom of this uh, pad. Okay. So if you don't know exactly what the model number, you can check under the stand. So today in this video, we're going to upgrade the SSD. So we do have both type of SSD. One is 2.5 inch SATA SSD. Another one is NVMe M.2 SSD. We're going to open up and check which one it takes. If it takes both of them or if it take just one. So to open it, what you need to do, make sure you clean the surface, the flat table, and then we're going to take out four screws and you need a Phillips screwdriver. By the way, the common mistake what happens is sometimes when they try to open it out, if any dart or anything, or any, let's say, not so anything, if it goes under the LCD, and if you put it flat upside down, it might gonna break it. So make sure everything is clear, the surface. Now you're gonna open up four screws. Here is one, two, three, four. And after removing the four screws, what are you gonna do? We're gonna put face up. And then as you can see, the bottom bezel is quite thick, okay? So we're gonna open it a little bit like that because there are hidden anchor inside, okay? But the most two special anchor is on the right and on the left. So make sure you do have very flat opening tools like that. These are the two. I would suggest you to use plastic because metal sometimes could damage the screen. Okay, once you have those two, we're gonna try from here and from here. And then we're gonna do right there. So how? Once it opens this side, we need to open it like that. So if I give you an example, it's going to be make a gap and spudger it. Don't be scared because it seems like it's going to break, but it don't break because this is how you're going to open it up. So I'm going to try this. It should come out. It should make a click noise. Yeah. It's a little bit hard, so give it a try. It might take, you know, a few trial. Don't try to get in too much inside the bezel. Just a little bit, and then if you spudge around, it should come out. So, as you can see on the right and left hand side, the thin bezel, but still there is a plastic frame behind the screen. So that's why we can give it a try. We can spudger it and it should come off like that. So for me, it takes about five to five to 10 minutes because this model I tried first time. To figure out, it actually takes some time. And afterwards, it became easy. So. All right, so now we're gonna lift this from the top panel and gently we're gonna bring it like that because there are two flex, one for the front facing camera, another one for the fat cable is for the LCD. So if you are doing by yourself, I will suggest you be careful when you handle it because uh, it's quite big for one hand, so Either you need some sort of assistant to hold it like that, or maybe you can let somebody to hold it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to remove all the screws, but you don't have to remove the screws first. First thing, you can disconnect the two flex, but I just tried to see if there is any chance or privilege to get into the hard drive and pull this off and replace it straight away. But it's not possible. If you want to do that, you have to take out all the screws 
from the mid metal frame. By the way, there are a few different sizes of screws. You might need the right Phillips screwdriver because there is a way to get the screw snapped easily because the screw quality is not that great. Once all the screw removed, you can take out the actual mid frame and then you can pull off this 2.5 that is locked in there. So double check if any screws left. If any screws left, it's not going to come off. And just to have some extra room, I'm going to take this cable off and put it like that. Now by your two fingers, just push this in so it's going to unlock and pull off. There is a tape, so make sure you peel the tape off and give it a try. No rush. If you do rush, you might get damage either the connector of the LCD or the flex cable. So now I can put it like that on the stand and try to figure out if it's possible. Yes, it's disconnected. That is the camera flex. Now we can work on this easily. I think there is one more screw hidden under there. As I said, a couple of them. Three, four, too many. And you can pull this off like that. And easily we can take out 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. And this hard drive secure with four screws into the caddy. So take four screws out and then put back 2.5 inch SATA SSD. You could install any size, any capacity. 128, 256, 480, 512, 1TB, 2TB, does not matter. And I don't see on the main board there is a option to install 2.5 inch, sorry, M.2 NVMe or M.2 SATA. There is no way to install because there is no any slot there. So you're going to go for 2.5 inch SATA SSD. The hard drive is good. You don't need to throw it. You can use it as an external drive. You just need to buy a caddy. Which one could take 2.5 inch and you can make as an external hard drive. The caddy you can buy for 7 to 10 to 15 pound from Amazon. So I'm going to put it in right way and I'm going to secure it with the screws. And once all the screw close properly, we can put it back. We can repeat the job, what we done, reverse back, and then it should be fine. That's how simple and easy it is. And I'm really surprised when I check the heatsink. As you can see, the heatsink top of the processor is quite small and far from the fan. So if you're planning to buy one of them, and if you really care about the cooling system, then you shouldn't buy that one.
Make the, the LCD flex connected properly, otherwise you don't see anything on the display. And then don't forget about the front facing camera. Once you're done, then try to close it that way and it should be fine. So first the face, I mean the front bit, and check the alignment. And when you press on the bezel, be careful, you know, because as I said, the frame is very thin. And I'm going to make a little click and it should be fine. And then don't forget about four screws, which one goes bottom of this all in one. And it should be absolutely fine. Let me know how did you like this video. If you do have any question, also don't forget to leave it into the comment section. And please, if you do like, like and share and subscribe to this channel. And thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.